Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B, and today I'm coming at you with some not amiibo things. Uh, these are Funko Pops, you've probably seen them before. They're little figure things, I am honestly don't know a whole lot about them, except that they have some Vocaloid ones. Uh, they've got Len, Rin, and Miku, of course. And uh, to my knowledge, those are the only three Vocaloid ones, but... Oh, anyway, I really like Vocaloid stuff, and actually one of my earlier vids, not on my, not on this channel, but on a, on my channel that I ran with my good friend Master Moses, my first video on that channel was actually a Vocaloid Top 10 Len and Rin Kagamin songs, my personal favorites, and it was pretty bad. So... If you want to look that up, I recommend that you, uh, don't, because <laughs> it was awful. I approached it like I would a gaming top 10. But with that said, why don't we actually get to unboxing these figures? So we'll start with Rin and get her moved back a little bit, Lynn. There you go. But yeah, I don't know a whole lot about these Funko Pop toy, or Funko, Funko Pop figures. I know there are a lot of them, Disney characters, I've seen Dragon Ball, uh, Big Bang Theory, Doctor Who. I've seen some Adventure Times ones, and I've seen, obviously, the Vocaloid ones. But honestly, the only ones I'm super interested in are the Vocaloid ones. Maybe if they ever did a Steven Universe line, I'd get that, but... Other than that, I'm, uh, I'll am i probably stick mostly to Amiibo, but I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at these since I got them. And here we have Rin, and I've, I'm, let's see, there we go. And she seems to be a hard plastic. I couldn't really tell if it was a hard or soft plastic. And she does stand up. Here, let me move the camera down a little bit there. So they stand up, they support themselves very well. I was kind of concerned since they didn't have the base. But yeah, so they they support themselves well, which I was kind of concerned about since they don't have any base like an amiibo, but they stand perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll take a closer look at them in a second. First, let's get Len out of his box. You can stand over there. There you go. And here is Lenkun. Lenkun now, Lenkun now, Lenkun, Lenkun, Lenkun now. The Kagamine twins are my favorite two Vocaloids, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, Miku's up there, but she's probably my fourth favorite. My third favorite doesn't have one to my knowledge, and that's Gumi. But here's Len, much like his sister. He uh, might stand up? I don't know. His balance is a little different, or a little, getting him to balance is a little harder. I'll fiddle with that later. Anyway, let's take a look at the figures themselves. Uh, they have, they're very stylized with the big heads. Uh, not quite a chibi style, I'd say. It's just very big heads and minimal features. But, I don't know, it kind of works. It's not a style that ever appealed to me, which is why I didn't really pick any up. <laughs> But with, with the Vocaloid ones, I did want to just grab them. They only had one of each one there, so I just got them. Uh, you've got the... They have the microphones and the headsets on both of them. There you go. And Rin's hair clips and the ribbon. Of course, Len's signature little ponytail. Len's got his tie, and they've got their signature outfits. Rin's even holding a microphone. Um... Uh, and Len's got his little keytar that he's often seen with on the back. So I'd say overall, or they they stick well to the original character designs, just basically changing the heads. And uh, the paint's pretty good. There are a few places where it looks like it could have been a little darker. But overall, for what they are, and they're actually cheaper than an amiibo, considering they don't have the functionality with games and everything like they do, so this is like my first figure type thing. Overall, I'd say they look pretty good and they're worth the price. They're fairly cheap. And uh, yeah, that's 
they're they're not like fifty dollar figures or anything. They're like ten dollars each, and for that, there's a good level of detail, and they they do stick well to the original character design. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the of the Funko Pop style, but I just wanted some Kagamine merch, and now I've got it. So. Yeah, there's that, and uh, maybe we'll take a look at some more Funko Pops in the future. Probably just the Miku one. I don't know. There are a few other ones I'd maybe pick up, but for now, I'm just interested in the Vocaloids. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Prince B, signing out.